Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to share with you another unboxing and first look the new CVV knife that I got recently. This will be the rifle, the rifle uh, model number C2024A. CVV knives come in a really uh, nice packaging, so nice box, uh, extra pouch. Inside are two stickers. Looks like they switched to just a CVV uh, logo before they had a so, uh, dragon and an eagle. Brand information. So basically this is a sister company or or a subsidiary of uh, V knives. They make excellent high quality knives uh, from China. And this is a, uh, a value offering from them. So the rifle uh, comes in a few uh, variants. Uh, few G10 colors and uh, also micarta it's a really nice action so let me give you the specifications so we have a overall length of 20.2 centimeters or 8 inches the blade uh, is 8.8 .8 centimeters or 3.5 inches the handle is 11.4 centimeters or 4.5 inches the blade thickness is 3 millimeters or 0 0.12 inches, the handle thickness is 1.2 centimeters or 0 0.47 inches and the handle, and, or sorry, and the blade width is uh, 2.8 centimeters or 1.1 inch. Material wise, we have a nice uh, uh, 40C28N uh, blade steel used on this one with a, I would say, uh, blasted finish. The handles are made out of stainless steel, nicely skeletonized. You can see all the milled out pockets right there. And um, a smoothed version of uh, canvas brown micarta. You have nice uh, torque screws and a deep carry stainless steel pocket clip with the nice recessed screws right there. So this is how it should be nicely made nicely rounded and no sharp corners we have a partial backspacer uh, out of uh, micarta and a lanyard uh, hole at the end of the scale right there so this should accommodate anything from a, uh, a thin leather to uh, 550 paracord. This is a liner lock construction. The pivot assembly uses uh, the CVV ceramic uh, caged bearing washers, so it will be really nice and smooth. Centering is perfect. You can open it nicely with your finger probably also the middle finger flick will also function and of course the preferred method is opening with the flipper so the weight comes in a 95.7 grams or 3.38 ounces so under four ounces i would say is already nice light EDC carry option with a beautifully shaped blade with enough belly for your everyday tasks also probably uh, food prep one thing uh, I would like to mention that uh, I would wish that uh, they went with a stone wash since this is a EDC blade, uh, 
and yes uh, 40C 20 and is stainless steel but usually uh, the blasted finish makes the steel porous and uh, so a moisture is um, a factor uh, and it could uh, develop rust so but if you have uh, any kind of uh, your preferred anti-corrosion spray like EDC for example then uh, you should be uh, safe the log engagement is really nice and early this is perfectly locked no blade play whatsoever so out of the box uh, perfect let me show you the sharpness so yeah really nice and really really sharp okay so now let, let me give you uh, the pocket profile let me show you would be better terminology so the deep carry pocket clip is uh, indeed almost sorry about that so it almost hides perfectly maybe a millimeter or two will stick out so this is perfectly acceptable let me give you one closer look to the my cart I used on this one so this is a nice uh, tight uh, weave uh, canvas micarta which is polished on the top now uh, let's bring out my CVV Elementum so I would say uh, these micartas are the same but this is uh, so natural uh, blasted only blasted uh, finish so no polishing therefore it is uh, much uh, lighter color as you can see there uh, so definitely in my opinion uh, CVV went with a really decent really nice uh, I would say Chinese micarta if I would uh, compare it with the OG uh, Chinese micarta which was used uh, maybe a year or two years ago so uh, this is what you could mostly find on Chinese uh, micarta knives so this is a much darker a uh, little bit wider weave uh, canvas so this is the Kaiser pinch So here is the Kesivo or Free uh, Free Tiger or Tuna Fire model 956. So if you are looking, if you are looking for uh, a really nice budget micarta and D2 offering, then this would be probably a uh, way to go right now. I could not find anything uh, with a better, better uh, price point on the market. So these are around 19 dollars, just for uh, that you know. Uh, almost same size then of course let us continue with my Buck Sprint Pro in Burlet Micarta QSP Pelican Tuya Knives Cebu
Ace Grand from Giant Mouse. Benchmade uh, Griptilian. Oh, this is a Chinese uh, clone. So sadly, I could not find this anymore. I don't know uh, if there was a limited edition or limited batch, but these were really nice for the price and had uh, really good uh, micarta scales. Okay, so let's continue. 940 from Benchmade. Uh, Kersha Blur. Delica from Spider Co. And Dura from Spider Co. Model 1 from Red. Kubi Aries. Bug Vintage Pro. K Bar Dozier Folding Hunter. Rough Rider Peanut and Buck Toothpick. So overall, in my opinion, on these uh, new budget offerings uh, from CVV are really spot on. They are really uh, fit really nice in the hand. Has a decent belly, and I'm looking forward to to see uh, some more designs they are uh, producing right now. So uh, price-wise, we're looking at around sixty-five uh, dollars, uh, depending on your uh, preferred uh, retailer. This can go as low as uh, around fifty-five. So definitely uh, look around, shop around, and you will save some money. But uh, if you are looking for a really decent, um, a well-made EDC uh, knife with with nice micarta scales, then uh, and have of course the money to spend, then this should be on your radar. It's really a nice knife. So the CVV knives, rifle, rifle. If you have any questions, uh, please leave comments down below. I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can. Uh, also, uh, if you have any suggestions, uh, if you would like to see uh, some other knives or maybe some kind of opinion pieces uh, about knives, uh, maybe about anything else uh, regarding uh, my hobbies, then uh, definitely uh, let me know. I'm more than happy to uh, to consider them, and of course, uh, if I have time, I will produce a video to to share it with everybody here. Okay, so if you are a subscriber, thank you very much. If you are not, then please consider subscribing to not miss uh, any new content. I try to release at least three videos per week, mostly knife and gear oriented, but sometimes I saw the stuff uh, regarding my other hobbies. Okay, so wish you a wonderful day, and hope to see you soon. Bye.